What's up YouTube? So I'm back with another iPhone 4S speed video or performance video and this one I'm releasing because iOS 9.2 is now finally available to the public. In my last video I was only able to test 9.1 against 9.2 beta 5 or beta 4 sorry so I'd like to do just one more comparison of the final build to see if Apple truly kept to making the older devices a little quicker or if the OS is still kind of crappy. <laughs> Anyways, um, in my video, my last video, which you guys should check out, uh, the iOS 7 build did the best. Truthfully, it booted in 32 seconds. Most of the applications opened up smoothly. It, all in all, the experience in general was just the best with iOS 7. So let's see what 9.2 has to offer. We're going to do a boot test in 3, 2, here's the button, 1. So as always, it starts about a second after the Apple logo goes. Now let's talk about boot time. Boot time doesn't all, always mean fast OS. There could be other things loading up. But iOS 7 did about 32 seconds. iOS 8 did about, what was it, 41? iOS 9 did 50 something, 54 I believe, and then iOS 9.2 did 48, so it did better. Um, the 9, or 9.2, sorry, 9.2 did a bit better. So we're past iOS 7, and we're past iOS 8 now. So hopefully we see some improvement over 9.1. Unfortunately not. So we actually, 51 seconds, so we're kind of in the middle of iOS 9.1 and 9.2 beta 5. As you can see here, my phone's having a Twitter attack. Um, anyways, let's open up and see how the OS is feeling smooth. So that was kind of smooth there. We'll just kind of open up a couple things here. So not too, too bad. It's usable. Double tap. That opened up. All right, let's close some applications and get opening some apps. So, messages. Definitely that hang time that you see in iOS 9 still lingers no matter which OS you're on. A little better there. Camera was impressive in iOS 9. It seems to open fairly quick. Keeping tried and true definitely opens up quicker. Well, a little bit of lag as you've seen right there. Uh, with the animations, really seemed kind of almost glitchy. And we're actually starting to slow down now. A little bit of the lag time opening up the mail or weather. It's not bad. As we get more and more applications open here, we would expect it to start to slow down a little bit. I almost feel like the animations zooming in and out are a little slower. Like you can see the the animation quicker or slower, but maybe that's so that the application has a little more time to load. iTunes Store is still absolutely slow. In the App Store. App Store just out like ridiculously slow. Um, screen being unresponsive here. Okay. Game Center was a big one. Always took a lot of time to load up. So the animation seemed to be taking its time. My Wi Fi is pretty busy this morning, so maybe uh, that's got something to do with it. All right, let's hop into the internet and see how speed works. So we'll go Google. Web performance is still fairly laggy. We'll refresh the page. Refresh. Okay, and we'll test Wi-Fi.
This website runs based on HTML5, so it kind of gives an HTML5 performance, which we've seen on a lot of them was very laggy and s slow. So this seems to be, come on, there we go. Not too bad. Again, I do believe my internet's a little busy right now, so this would be fairly correct. Um, seems to be a lot better in iOS 9 for Wi-Fi than it was in most of the previous builds. Even iOS 7 did okay, but uh, yeah, so there you guys go. That is the, <laughs> there you go, the latest uh, iPhone um, or iOS 9.2 on the older devices. Does it hold up? I don't believe it does. I still say iOS uh, 7 was a better release. If you guys have an old device like this and you don't have to update it, I don't recommend updating it, as sad as that is to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends who have iPhone 4Ss, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.